Thank you. Is that it? Is that the is that the end? Is that the beginning? Or are you playing one more? What's the story? I don't know. Are we starting now? Or? I don't know. I can play one more. It's going to be great. There's going to be a love connection here. Oh, I don't think I can say that. That's uh, yeah, copyrighted. Yeah, that's, that's copyrighted. But uh, before Some we get people are going to get singled out tonight. Uh, Stop it. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Stop it. You're going to get us in a lot of trouble. We're going to have some people. Uh, they're going to be eliminated. Uh, sorry. Again. Sorry. So up next... Uh, we did, you didn't even I'm introduce sorry. yourself yet. I'm hey, Brandon Judd. This is Brandon Judd, everybody. Woo! Are you guys ready to master it? Yeah. Yeah. It's more fun as a group. Let's go away. <laughs> stay away, stay away. Well, uh, we're going to bring up the first dater. So, uh, Mr. Brian, could you please make your way to the stage? Brian. <laughs> Everybody. Brian Clark, look at him. Give a round of applause, the first master dater of the evening. Sorry. Brian, how are you doing tonight? Here, we'll get you set up here with a microphone. Doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, yes. Brian, what's your net worth? Based on 
That's what net worth oh, is. Oh, that's what net worth is. I'm not a business major. I'm a rocket scientist, so. Oh, no. Are you learning more about Ryan? Rocket it's scientist so or? It's like quite a lot. <laughs> Uh, net worth, I don't know, I would say <laughs> roughly $2,000 right now. Yeah? yeah. Your first test with Amy, you gotta pick out five cards. While you're, while you're thinking about it, Brian, ladies and gentlemen, is from St. Louis, Missouri. Have you guys ever heard of that place? Yeah? Let's get a look at Brian. He's wearing a coat. <laughs> and a polo shirt. This guy knows how to accessorize. He's got a nice ensemble outfit. And look at that beard. Finely trimmed. Who made your hair tonight? <laughs> I did. Nice, ladies. Very good. You can handle hair. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm here, so I don't, I don't have a lady to take care of my hair for me. So I, I've, I've learned over the years to uh, curate it myself. So. All right, rocket scientist, poor and lonely. So, uh, so Brian, what is it that you are specifically looking for in a match? Uh, someone who's, someone who's fun. Um, fun. Oh, that is a new one. Adventurous. That is a new one. Adventurous. We got fun and adventurous. Yeah. Good looking doesn't hurt as well. Good looking. Nice. So we have fun, which starts with F. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna do that. Let's not go that way. I fun, like, adventurous, good looking. He's looking for a fun, yeah. adventurous, and good looking woman. I dress like a Mormon tonight, so what are you looking for in a wife? Polygamy! <laughs> and more importantly, why are you single? Um, oh, I, uh, I have two questions here. Um, and this is the important. best person we could find on Craigslist. Yes. <laughs> I answered the ad in like two seconds. So. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for in a wife. I mean, we're here to date, so. Um, and as far as... I'm sorry, what was your question again? Why are you single? You said you had two questions for us. <laughs> no, I have two questions to answer. Oh, um, why am I single? I don't know. I've been single for four years and just been having fun. And, Who's booing being single? <laughs> were you spending time at Six Flags during that time? You said you were having fun. Oh, I love Six Flags. <laughs> yeah, great. The boss is the best. Uh, Bruce Springsteen at Six Flags. <laughs> Been there, done that. How's that questions picking been coming out? I picked five You're, random ones. You got five random ones? Yeah. Alright, will you hand those over to Brandon for me? And then I will take the whole stat one. We just give them both to him. Let's see what he does with two hands. And uh, we're at the portion of the show where we're going to invite up the suitors, but just before we do that, uh, the first two rounds are going to be, Brian's going to be blinded, uh, so he's picking, making his suggestion, making his suggestions. He's going to be making his choices based off of just personality. So if you guys give me just one second, I'll go ahead and blind him. Have you ever been tied up before, Brian? Uh, no comment. Oh, he's answered more Craigslist ads than just this one. <laughs> I had a dream about this once. <laughs> so now that he's ready to start master dating, uh, I'm going to go ahead and invite all of the ladies up. If you are a contestant on the show, now is the time. Please make your way to the stage. You can bring your drinks with you. Please up the steps. Uh, watch out for that uh, the PA system there. Emily? Uh, watch out here. If you are uh, a lady and you're part of the show, please come up. No one listened to my instructions. All right, we, these are our contestants, everybody. Let's have a hand for them. All right, we're going to go down the row here, and I'm going to briefly introduce everybody. First up, we have Alexandra. She's from St. Louis, and she loves Kanye. Hey, Kanye West, everybody. Co host, do you have your cards? Hey, co host, do you have your cards? Uh, you rinse them into the stack of the other cards. Oh, no. Well, then I'll do the two that I have. Next up, well, I'm just going to start making up. We got Lita. She's got 30, 12 years old. She's ageless. Look at that. Let's play guess the age. Who wants to guess how old Lita is? 
27. 27, anybody else? 24, are we getting close? I said, are we getting close? We're playing guess your age. 22 is right, she says. Who believes you? Who believes that? No. And uh, fun fact, what's a fun fact about yourself? She is a pet guinea pig, everybody. She's trying. I found, I found two of the three. Awesome. Next up, we have Emily. She's 27 as well. I'm sorry, 22. You were 22. They went to school together. Hey, how about that? Uh, she collects nutcrackers. Not so much anymore, but when she was a kid, that was something she was really into. You what? Oh, she runs the Facebook fan page for Nutcrackers, so you guys can get on there and like that. Next up, we have Melissa. Yeah. Yes, right. Did you find your cards, Brandon? Uh, hey, two out of three ain't bad, right? <laughs> I have that one. Are we guessing her age, or am I just saying? No, you're just gonna say her age. She's almost 25. From Waterloo, Illinois. Personal fact, I'm not sure if this is a fact really, but it's either Stevie Nicks or Two Chains. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> do you have a U at the top of that one? Sure do. Oh, there we go. I do. It's uh, Una McGarry. She's 31 from Sweet Lou. Personal fact, I'm on an independent improv team called the Bisexuals. Hey, it's the right part of town for that. Well, we're gonna get to the questions. You wanna pull the, you wanna pull the first question? I do. So what we're doing in this round is uh, each contestant is gonna be asked three questions, and then Brian, based solely on their answers, will be eliminating one of them. He'll be kicking them off the stage and out of his life. Who are we starting with tonight? Who wants to start? Oh, Uno wants to start. Uno wants to start. So, Brian, are you ready to listen? Can you hear through that brown bag? Barely, but I'm good. Good? All right. Can you hear what they look like? For the most part. Perfect. Weird? <laughs> okay. I, I'm just going to give her the microphone to answer. You don't have to get this close to me. Yeah, All right. Back over there. I'll go back over here then, guys. <laughs> Guys, it's Valentine's Day. It's a, it's a holiday to feel close to people. First right. question. Una, do you think OJ was guilty? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, why? I don't believe if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Because, you know, there's a lot of extenuating factors, such as leaving a glove in the car, and they warms up in the heat, and leather shrinks, and, you know, he, he probably needed some lotion to get it on, so. Wow. Uh, that's Suggestive. What she said. Also, are you aware that it didn't fit? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. All right. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> You're gonna be, we're, so what we're going to be doing is each person's going to answer three questions and we'll move down the line from there. Three. Do you laugh when old people fall over? <laughs> yes, I laugh at the thought of old people falling over because it's funny. Did you consider Nicole Simpson old? <laughs> Nicole Simpson? That was O.J. Simpson's wife. I'm sorry. Wife? These are a little dated. <laughs> uh, Too soon. Still. I'm going to go with no because I've already said yes for the other two. So, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm too agreeable. I got I to gotta play hard to get, you know? Third question. You have to pick one. Was that the third? Was the Nicole the third? No, that was not the third question. Was, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I was interested for my own personal research. Choose one. Uh, personal chauffeur, a chef, or personal massage therapist. Personal massage therapist all day, every day. Seriously, is there anybody else who would pick anything else? I mean, I can cook. I love to drive. 
but you know, I can't need my back myself. We got a real master dater here, everybody. That's wonderful. Brian, that was Una. We're moving on to the next master dater. Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa, are you ready for your three questions? Yeah, do I get the same questions? No, nope, you get different questions. Damn it, I already had my answers. <laughs> One of the questions that Brian picked was the other card that was profiling the last contestant. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for this? How long would you wait for your significant other if they were lost at sea? <laughs> She's still waiting. <laughs> I might not wait. Next question. So zero. Whoa. The answer to that would be zero. <laughs> Brian, do you sail? Brian, do you sail? I, for me, do You're I, Brian. Um, <laughs> I, I have not, although I have always wanted to know I don't sail. So getting lost at sea is probably not something that would, that would happen. Not really. Uh, these are the, the hard-hitting questions this time. If you could abolish one religion, which would it be? That's bullshit. None of them. None. This is from the serious stack of questions. I'm sorry. I know. I just took my random. I didn't even look at them. Like me. We only picked five, but we need. Uh, 15. <laughs> Do you want to have children? Someday. Again, we're just dating. <laughs> I want to have children when it fits, yes. I really hope the next ones are more lighthearted because I feel guilty right now and I don't know why. Moving on to our third master dater. OJ, we'll call you OJ. Yeah, we'll just call me OJ. We got Emily up. And the first question is... You're on death row. You know, let's go ahead and... <laughs> Brandon, can I go ahead and say something right here? I know you said you're dressed like a Mormon, but I feel like it's more like Mormon on top, SLC punk on bottom. <laughs> uh, I am showcasing my cliche punk rock tattoos tonight. <laughs> You've got like a Utah mullet outfit going on. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, actually, can I do uh, five minutes? Is that okay? No, Canada made this. <laughs> Canada made all of this. <laughs> Alright, Emily. If a movie were made about you, who would you pick to play you and why? Uh, what first comes to mind is uh, Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Cause wouldn't that be funny? Like everything I say coming out of Denzel Washington's mouth, <laughs> like, right? Can you do a little of that? I cannot do a Denzel Washington. That's Wonderful. just gonna sound racist if I do. All right. I do have to say Denzel Washington is one of my favorite actors. Shut up, Brian. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think there's chemistry here, folks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. <laughs> what? Oh. All right, Emily. This is not really a question, more of a command. <laughs> Uh, describe your perfect sandwich. Um, oh, well, I, I don't eat meat anymore, but when I had my tonsils out, all I did was write up sandwich ideas. I really like avocado, I like room a lot, so what I'm getting right now is I go to Schnucks Culinary, right? And I get the grilled cheese, but I'm like, hey, gonna mix it up. And I put it on whole wheat, and then I get avocado on it, and then I get spinach on it, and then I get rumelots on it. It's a fucking orgasm in your mouth. That sounds amazing, guys. It's really good. I thought, I thought you know, that would it's get really good. <laughs> Shut up. So when you couldn't eat sandwiches, you just fantasize about sandwiches? Uh, when I had my tonsils out and I couldn't eat anything, I did fantasize about That's sandwiches. That's what a serial killer does in between. <laughs> That's probably true about me, too. All right, Emily, your last question here. You can sleep with any historical figure. Who do you pick and why? Ugh, I don't know, All right, guys. Um, Mine's Johnny Ramone. Historical figure? Yes. Uh, Malcolm X, because I kind of have a thing for black guys and glasses. 
Is that weird? All right, Malcolm X and Denzel. <laughs> Same one. Very good. Emily Hickner, everybody. And our next masturbator, Lita. Are you ready for your three questions? Lita, you're a pizza. What's on top of you? <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Brian, you fuck pizzas? <laughs> All right, we're in the crucial beginning stages of possibly dating Brian. Describe your ideal breakup. <laughs> Twitter, I, ideal. Uh, is that a DM or just a tweet? Tweet with a celebrity. You know, bring a celebrity into it, preferably. Very good. Which serial killer? Oh, what would you hashtag that? Hi, bitch. Harsh. Very harsh. Which serial killer do you most identify with? <laughs> Terrible question. I didn't write him. <laughs> Would you like choices? I'm gonna, go with, I'm gonna go with Jeffrey Dahmer. Meat eater, everybody. Meat eater. You know what I mean. But you probably don't. You like to kill gay men <laughs> in swimming pools. Good. <laughs> and we're up to our last masturbator for the interview portion. Alexander. Alexander, everybody. Are you ready for three questions? Here we go. Alexandra, what uh, movie or book title most describes your love life? Sons of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to keep those things quiet when you're fucking them. <laughs> Would you have any problem dating anyone who has the same name as a sibling of yours? That's normal, so no. Whoa. I kind of want you to elaborate on that's normal. It's normal to be with your siblings, you know? Um, no, I wouldn't. My siblings have normal. Keep it in the family, guys. That's what this is about. That's what Valentine's is about, right? Love the family? <laughs> what was the worst thing about your last relationship? Are you really going to make me cry right now? I'm not. This card might. Valentine's Day! Um, the Twitter breakup. Yeah. You got hashtag by bitch by someone. Yeah. I would say, um, yeah, Twitter breakup. Literally. Ouch. Did you unfollow and block? Nope. Nope. Ah, now you just. I got unfollowed. You're torturing yourself. Unfollow. That's it for all the questions, guys. All right, Brian. Are you ready to, to eliminate one of the master daters? I guess so. I guess I have to be, yeah. You have to. Sure. Do you need their names again? come down to this. Give, give me the names one more time. Sure, we've got Una. Number two. And uh, Emily. <laughs> Her name is Melissa. 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 Emily. Lita. And Alexandra. Woo-woo! Who's going to get voted off of the stage by you yourself? See, I, I, I don't know. It, this, uh, this criteria just based on three questions here. I mean, you don't have to feel bad because you are the one with the bag on your head. <laughs> How about this? If you could pick one right now, who might you pick just based off that? Who might I pick? Like to end the night with? Like, yeah. Well, what's, what's, what, are you, what are you leaning towards right um, now? Man, I, I'm really liking that. You're doing this all wrong. We got three more rounds to get through. Oh, we're gonna do it. I just wanna hear it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Cause then something might sway you, and then the crowd will have to wonder, well what happened to make her not make him not like her anymore? True. Um I will do You don't have to say it, don't say it. Alright, who no. do you want to go? <laughs> um <laughs> Um That was sitting me right in the nose there, sorry, I had to take control of the situation. I'm going to start counting down from five, and you're going to have to say a name, and they're getting voted off the stage. Unless you say your oh, name no, right now. Right, yeah. um, I'm going to go with... About to be voted off of Melissa. the stage. Melissa. Oh. 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 
questions I hated. I'm I know sorry, it was the I'm questions. So Thanks for masturbating. Let's give oh, Melissa a round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, so we're going to move quickly into the second round. Evan, do you have the music ready? Here's what's going to happen, crowd. It's going to be up to you to help Brian find his best match. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to judge a twist competition. And the person who is the worst at twisting, you're going to send off the stage. Are you guys ready to help out a little bit? Let's help Brian masturbate. Did you just say what's the twist? Can I have someone from the crowd show the lovely ladies how to twist? Does anybody here know how to twist? 